welcome to science in the spotlight this is a program that looks at scientific breakthrough and innovation we have today with us dr murli basham is a molecular oncologist that means someone who researches on the molecular aspects of cancer what causes it and perhaps also its treatment he is with the center for dna fingerprinting and diagnostics thank you for joining us thank you cancer not really considered an indian disease always been associated as a western disease is that been a priority and does that need to be a priority today we are hearing about cancers everywhere these days yes so you are absolutely right uh, maybe 10 20 years back cancer was always associated with the western population it was neglected in india uh, infectious disease was a priority which was rightly so uh, but uh, perhaps due to rapid urbanization and industrialization um, and lifestyle changes in indian population we are seeing a sudden spurt in last 5 10 years of uh, cancer incidents uh, to some extent it's also true because of increased and better reporting and awareness uh, but uh, so now and as per reports from the world health organization which every year releases a report of uh, the world cancer scenario and they have predicted india and china are going to overtake the whole of the western world in terms of cancer incidents uh, in the next 5 or 5 to 10 years we are obviously not a resource rich nation and we don't have enough money to spend on these can't we really borrow the literature that's available or the research that's done in the western countries i understand you were telling me that in fact all the treatment is done on western lines but indian cancer uh, perhaps has different biological origins and perhaps requires a different treatment regimen as compared to the western world so far cancer treatment in india uh, was borrowed from western literature the clinicians get trained used to get trained in the west they'll come back adopt those they were trained on cancer samples in the west they'll look at indian samples and they will implement the same uh, treatment modalities modalities and patient management approaches it is practiced all over india and uh, because the literature what we have is on samples from the west uh, but uh, it is also true what we have for past 10 years the work we have done has shown that um, the origins of tumors uh, from indian cancer patients may be different than what is reported from the west that's very interesting does that mean because of genetically we are different from the western population or is it related to some other factors in the environment so it is definitely a combination of both our endogenous dna sequence is very different from the west definitely so the genetic factors which contribute to predisposition uh, to cancer is will be different in the indian population so uh, you do get different types of cancers because of that but also the environment uh, and the lifestyle are different so the and diet so these things will also contribute to a different type of uh, cancer so because in us marriages are much later uh, <clears throat> here it's different so the hormonal cycles are different between the two populations so that is one reason why the breast cancer here because it's a hormonal triggered cancer usually is different from uh, from the west and uh, west has classified breast cancer into four or five subtypes the most minor subtype in the west which unfortunately is more aggressive is perhaps the most prominent subtype of breast cancer in india and which is actually also true for other developing nations in asia uh, so again then uh, other labs in in the country are looking at that cancer subtype which is not a problem with the west so we have to do our own work again like you were telling we need funding uh, because this is extremely important it's it's so breast cancer subtype uh, what is prominent in india is not very well understood so there are labs who are working on that and hopefully uh, something good will come out of it how big a factor is genetics on the one hand and how big a factor is lifestyle on the other traditionally cancer is uh, a sporadic uh, disease which means it's not associated with with uh, genetic predisposition or familial syndromes so there uh, again different type of cancer will have a different uh, inputs from the genetic component and from the uh, environment but both are contributing so on the one hand is the patient and the doctor on the other hand perhaps the pharma companies which are looking to get that breakthrough and get that drug where does cdfd and your work really fit in right so i as i mentioned our work uh, has shown that uh, the cancer types are different and therefore or i should say subtypes are different and therefore uh, uh, the treatment uh, modalities from the west cannot be uh, implemented here so our lab has been working to characterize Uh, some of the tumors which are not uh, related to the western literature so we have found some novel genetic events which may drive the tumors uh, and then further characterization it's possible to target these genetic events for for therapy okay so you know some genetic event is very important for the tumor to grow and sustain itself 
you inhibit that the tumor subsides okay that's that's we call targeted therapy uh, so for that the pharma is very very interested uh, because uh, again because of the economics of cancer therapy in india because of the huge population but at the same time they don't fund any research in india such as only funded by government unlike the west uh, but once you reach that stage uh, they would be perhaps willing to you know manufacture something which in the lab you prove that it can inhibit a certain type of cancer so that kind we of we are obviously talking about a very very long road yes very long you are mentioning lifestyle can that really play an important part in actually stopping cancers what does your research tell you yeah so we have not done much research on that aspect but others have done and it is well established that many cancers are called lifestyle cancers so, or lifestyle disease so colorectal cancer is one of them where we have done most of our work and uh, there it is well uh, established that uh, lifestyle factors include uh, factors related to urbanization so um, non uh, physical lifestyle so more sedentary lifestyle and diet like uh, greasy food fatty food red meat uh, these are uh, on the other hand fiber rich diet uh, would have protection so these are in terms of scientific um, uh, research not very well established Uh, because they have all been looked at independently but if you have a large cohort study where you can have two or three factors combined uh, which some people have done there the association is much stronger so you have more risk if you have that kind of lifestyle that is known for colorectal cancer and other cancers like breast cancer as well okay very very fascinating best of luck on your work and Thank hopefully you. we will have some treatment regimen coming out of your work out of this very laboratory as well thank you so much for joining us time for a short break on science in the spotlight on the other side ankita mukherjee will be chatting with dr siddhartha mukherjee author of the emperor of maladies stay with us